And um, I'm just going to end by running the tape that we had begun to run, which was of the chief of the Child Welfare Committee that finally awarded uh, Sagarika her babies uh, when she returned to India. Shikha Sarkar uh, was an associate professor of history, and she has retired both uh, as chairman of the Child Welfare Committee, as well as a member of the West Bengal Women's Commission. And she now works in a number of NGOs focusing on women and children. This is a pre-recorded a video that she sent me. Good evening everyone present here. In this evening we assemble here to take part in a seminar titled Man, Woman, Child and the State. Lessons from the true story behind Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. The recently released film based on Shagorika Chakravarti's autobiography The Journey of a Mother published last year. First of all I express thanks to Surana Yar a renowned lawyer and a dedicated social activist of Delhi who organized this seminar and invited me in this platform. So today evening I am here to share my unique experience as member of the Child Welfare Committee Bardwan District, West Bengal in dealing with the case of Sagarika and ultimate disposal of the case. The story in short is that Sagarika Chakravarti, a Bengali girl of Kolkata moved to Norway in marital concern. At that time, she and her parents were quite ignorant about the environment, society, ideology, culture, lifestyle of Norway, where the girl would have to settle very near future. Within a very, sorry, within a few years, she became mother of two kids, a son, Ohigan, and a daughter, Ishada. In 2011, the Norwegian Child Welfare Services Authority forcefully took the custody of the children from the parent, declaring them incompetent parent. Very soon they further declared Sagorika mentally unwell and hence was incapable to take proper care of her kids. As mother of two infants, one was then sucking baby of four months, Sagorika could not accept such forceful separation of her family and her struggle against the state system of Norway began. She protested vehemently against such inhuman confiscation of her babies. Due to her tireless fighting, the family matter soon turned into a matter of the country. The case became highly publicized and the government of India had to intervene. After many negotiations between governments of two states, Norway government agreed to release the babies under the custody of their paternal uncle, a 27 years bachelor. To get back the children in the soil of her own country, Shagurika at that time found no way but to sign the agreement. The second phase of a struggle began in India against the foreign decision of placing her babies under foster care of her brother-in-law. Very soon she appealed to the authorities of India to have the sole custody of the uh, of our children. Department of Foreign Affairs, Government of India forwarded the case to the Child Welfare Committee, District of Badwan, West Bengal, as the children stayed in their paternal uncle's address in Badwan. From that very moment, the Child Welfare Committee of the District of Badwan, West Bengal, of which I was then one of the members, took the case as per Juvenile Justices Act 2000. Section 31 of which says that CWC is the final authority to dispose the cases of care, protection, treatment, development and rehabilitation of children. Further, sole custody of mother over children below 7 years is permissible in India now. The Child Welfare Committee Bardwan dealt with the case very carefully and sympathetically. The committee assured Shagorika and her parents that CWC is duty bound to properly place the children under the fit person. After various medical examination, series of sittings with psychologists and counsellors, the Child Affairs Committee declared Sagorika physically and mentally fit to take care of, of her children and ultimately within six months of the receipt of the case, the Child Affairs Committee exercising its power and jurisdiction passed order in favor of Sagorika's appeal to get back her children, discharge the babies from the inhuman foster care agreement and place them under custody of mother. Sagorika's struggle 
ended on January 2013. But the struggle in her own country was not so easy as I narrated. These were there were so many ups and downs in the journey. But as the CWC Badwan district was then determined to re- reunite the mother and children by exercising its powers given in the Juvenile Justice Act 2000, it overcame all obstacles. Especially came from the foster care and house of cruelty, bad one. Child Welfare Committee ultimately declared motherhood winner. Children were returned to their mother's lap. The story ended here. Shagunika Chakraborty came victorious in her own struggle, as well as in conveying a very important message to our society. It is known fact that many of the younger generation of the third world countries. Are aspiring to be NRI, target a job in European states, USA, Canada, or elsewhere, and settle down in these so-called first world countries, attracted by lucrative packages, comfort, and happiness. At the time, time they yeah. absolutely forget or do not care about the geographical, social structure, and cultural differences between the two worlds. Ultimately, in that unknown soil, they are compelled to spend life. as second class or third class citizen and the life is not so smooth as they imagined the story of mrs chatterjee versus norway would be a valuable lesson for those aspiring people the producer director story writer of this film all deserve appreciation for upholding the story to all in form of a movie with renowned actors Lastly, I request all to watch the movie and take part in the movement against such inhuman and mechanical child care system of the so-called first world. Congratulations to Shagorika. Thanks all.